Yesterday, the Pentagon announced a new security assistance package worth up to $1 billion for Ukraine, including depleted uranium ammunition for M1 Abrams tanks the US plans to deliver to Ukraine this fall. It is the first time the US will be sending the controversial armor-piercing munitions to Kyiv. The Pentagon said the military aid would also include anti-armor systems, tactical air navigation systems, and additional ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems or the HIMARS. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced new aid for Ukraine in a visit to Kyiv as he hailed the months-long counter-offensive against the Russian forces in the country's southeast. The Pentagon has said it would be indeed sending depleted uranium ammunition which is highly effective at piercing armor plates. In this decision, the USA follows Britain's lead in sending the controversial munitions to help Kyiv push through Russian lines in its grueling counter-offensive. But Russia has denounced this decision of sending depleted uranium ammunition as an indicator of inhumanity, adding that the United States is deluding itself by refusing to accept the failure of the Ukrainian military's so-called counter-offensive. Earlier in March, when Britain said it would supply the shells, the Russian President Vladimir Putin had warned that Moscow would respond accordingly given that the West was starting to use weapons with what he called a nuclear component. Depleted uranium is a byproduct of the process to create the rarer enriched uranium used in nuclear fuel and weapons. Although far less powerful than enriched uranium and incapable of generating a nuclear reaction, depleted uranium is extremely dense, more dense than lead, a quality that makes it highly attractive as a projectile. It is so dense and it has got so much momentum that it just keeps going through the armor and it heats it up so much that it catches fire. When fired, a depleted uranium munition becomes essentially an exotic metal dart fired at an extraordinarily high speed. This means that when it strikes a tank's armor, it cuts through in the blink of an eye before exploding in a burning cloud of dust and metal while the soaring temperatures explode the tank's fuel and ammunition. While depleted uranium munitions are not considered nuclear weapons, their emission of low levels of radiation has led the UN nuclear watchdog to urge caution when handling and warn of the possible dangers of exposure. The IAEA notes that depleted uranium is mainly a toxic chemical as opposed to a radiation hazard. Particles in aerosols can be inhaled or ingested and while most could be excreted again, some can enter the bloodstream and may cause kidney damage. Depleted uranium munitions as well as depleted uranium enhanced armor were used by US tanks in the 1991 Gulf War against Iraq's T-72 tanks and again in the invasion of Iraq in 2003 as well as in Serbia and in Kosovo. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.